Hey everybody, my name is Lisa and I'm the Crafty Goddess. Hello and welcome! Uh, I know it's been a while and I keep introducing my videos like this. Um, I've had I've been so busy with my various appointments and health issues and whatnot, which I'm sure you folks might understand. I got my fifth round of chemotherapy today. I've got three more rounds of chemo after this. Uh, and then I'm done the chemo per se, but I also started, sorry, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. Um, I started something called immunotherapy today, which is specifically targeted to blast the uh, HER2 protein into oblivion. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the HER2 protein and breast cancer, HER2 or AGR2 is a protein that encourages the rapid growth and development of cancer cells, which is what makes my case slightly more aggressive than most breast cancer cases. Um, it is actually quite common, so uh, that is the main target. It's still stage one. Uh, all tumors are shrinking. There's still all, all signs are still pointing to cure. We're going to fix this. Everything's going to be awesome. Uh, but because of the aggressive nature of the HER2 protein, that's why my medical team is throwing everything but the kitchen sink at it. So I've been going through different appointments, tests, biopsies. Uh, like I said, I just had my fifth round of chemo today. Started the immunotherapy today, which is amazing. That's going to be an ongoing thing for the next year. I'm going to be getting immunotherapy every three weeks throughout the next uh, 12 months. So we can blast this thing and set it back to the pits of hell where it belongs. Yeah. So it's looking good. That's also why I have this bandage here too. Um, we had to access the Portacaf today. Um, again, for folks who may not be as familiar with different um, cancer jargon and whatnot, uh, there are three methods to get chemotherapy and various types of medicines. Uh, something called a Portacaf, something called a PICLINE, and something, well, well your standard IV. Uh, Portacaf is uh, a quick and safe way of injecting chemotherapy drugs into the system, especially ones that are highly carcinogenic in nature, like the ones that I was on earlier. Uh, my first four rounds, I was on something called adriamycin, which is the top heavy-duty, hard-hitting chemotherapy drug that causes the hair loss, uh, sickness, etc. So, but yeah, the, the ones that I'm on now are going to be a lot gentler on the stomach, and I can feel it already. Um, I'm not sure what the recovery time is going to be like, so we'll find that out when my when my steroids wear off. <laughs> But yeah, so far everything's looking good. Um, all three tumors are shrinking. My oncologist can't even find them anymore, which is great. Uh, but just because things are looking better doesn't mean I stop the treatment. It's just like taking penicillin when you have an infection. No matter how good you feel after, you still got to complete that cycle and, and get it done so you have a better chance of survival, which is what I'm doing. Yeah, it's hard. It's a lot of work. Um, I've had a couple moments recently where I've just been swearing and pounding walls and just like, why is this happening? <laughs> But, I mean, it's par for the course. It's not fair. It sucks. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work. Um, one of my friends who lives, uh, I want to say, southeast of me, she started her chemotherapy regime, and she's going through the same thing I am, where it's just like, why is this happening? Um, a lot of anger and frustration. Um, but there's a lot of hope, regardless. Um, if it's something that can't be cured, it can definitely be treated and adapted to we hope anyway um yeah it, it, it's a sucky thing i'm i'm sorry i keep introducing my kid you know i i'm not the cancer goddess by any means um but i know a lot of you folks have been showing your support and your love and your prayers and your comfort and words of wisdom uh especially crystal crystal the yarny chicken and crazy cat lady and tori at polly's crochet creations not only have they been both so amazing and forthcoming with um advertising like hey, somebody's in trouble and we need to send them their thoughts and prayers and sending care packages and whatnot. But both of those ladies also put up a link to my GoFundMe because I had to start a GoFundMe. I loathe asking for help, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for enough to help pay rent for the next few months. And then hopefully I can hear back from employment insurance and start covering my own <laughs> bases. Keep fingers crossed. Um, I will post the link with great reluctance uh, down in the description as well. I, again, I hate asking for help. I would rather give help than receive it. But you got to do what you got to do, especially if you want to keep a roof over your head. So my husband's been amazing. He's been working overtime. Um, he's been doing a lot of stuff around the house, working himself to the bone. And I could not be more grateful for it. I've had friends 
drop by with care packages and who have also either donated or shared the link to the GoFundMe. And I just, the words thank you are just so pitifully inadequate. But, you know, everything's looking good. I could just, I just, I wish I had the money to support myself right now. <laughs> I know, I know times are tough too. That's why I say I'm not greedy. I don't ask for much. I, I technically don't expect anything at all anyway, but everything helps, right? Um, anyway, the reason why we're here today is because I got a mystery package in the mail today. I got an order from Ice Yarn. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just under seven, kil uh, seven pounds. I didn't place an order for Ice Yarn. Um, I'm not sure who did. Uh, my husband and I got notifications that we had to pay the duty on it, which turned out to be like $22 and change. Um, but $22 and change in comparison to a package like this, like normally when I buy ice yarn, I spend anywhere from like 150 to 200. But as I've said in previous ice har ice yarn haul videos, the cost of shipping is quite high. But it's coming from Turkey, and it's it gets here within a week, I believe. When Crystal at Bagode Crochet orders ice yarn, it, she gets it in her home about three or four days after she orders it, which is great. Uh, but she's also in the States, and I don't know if the United States pays duty. Here in Canada, we pay duty on orders that are $60 or more, and I think it's dependent more on the weight of the package than what's inside. I don't know if it's off by weight or by value. Sorry, I gotta take a drink. I am dehydrated. Something else about cancer with um, chemotherapy. When you get chemotherapy, you get constant dry mouth. So I'm just constantly pounding back fluids like uh, vitamin water and Gatorade, that sort of thing. Uh, and yeah, straight up water too. Don't worry, I'm getting my water. <laughs> but yeah, I got a package of mice yarns. Um, I saw the invoice, I think, through FedEx. There's no name on it, so I don't know who sent it. So I'm going to give you folks the heads up to uh, confess. <laughs> Which one of you? I feel like Claudia in Interview with the Vampire. Which one of you did it? Um, if you would rather remain anonymous, I completely understand. Because um, I understand something like this, especially if it's from, like, say, a YouTuber that I subscribe to. Uh, even my husband said something like, wouldn't it be cool if it was somebody like Fiber Spider that sent you yarn? I said, that would be great, but I wouldn't expect it because I think. He's got better things to do than order a bunch of yarn and send it to someone that he doesn't know personally. Um, <laughs> I mean, that would be very sweet, but I certainly wouldn't expect it. And he's busy, too. He's got his own stuff to deal with. Um, he's got tutorials and things coming up. The last thing I want to do is bother him. <laughs> the last thing I do, you know. And not to mention, I think it was Crystal at Bag O'Day Crochet who also uh, put up a video recently of, you know, if I knew then what I know now about doing YouTube um, and she talked about people who, you know, took advantage of her good natured, uh, generosity and whatnot. And yeah, that just, that sucks. I wouldn't expect it from her or anybody else. I mean, if anybody wants to give me yarn, I'm not going to say no. But, uh, oh my God, there's a variety of color in here. Holy crap. Okay. Whoever made this order, you know me well, cause I'm seeing just purple and green. Everything. <laughs> I'm guessing by the looks of things so far, oh, I'm guessing by the looks of things so far, it's somebody who's watched previous haul videos, um, knows what I like, knows what I order, and uh, just kind of did a pick and choose thing. Gosh, some of these look so gorgeous. Let's go. Again, I apologize for the, the crinkling. This is, oh my gosh, there is such a variety of color. Um, I apologize for doing this in advance. I think um, if I can tackle into the Ice Yarn website, I'm going to try and look up some of the prices of the yarn that's been sent my way. Excuse me. Again, whoever did this, like, thank you so much. This is absolutely incredible. Um, I expect nothing. I ask for nothing. Um, this is a surprise. I'm so... I'm kind of dumbfounded right now. Oh my god. Ugh. So the first thing out of the bag... Uh, let me just show you the number here. 78585, if you can see that. This is a yarn called Fantasia. 
I think I saw this on Crystal Bagua Day's uh, recent yarn haul. Come on, get out of there. It does look very similar to the Lion Brand uh, Scarfy. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, I'm just going to put this over here. It does look very similar to the Lion Brand Scarfy. Um, it's got, although the Scarfy, if I can, I think I have some here. Um, obviously, the skeins are a little larger. Uh, this is the Scarfy here. And then this is the Fantasia. So, obviously, there's a size difference. <laughs> um, it does look similar to it. But this is an all green. There's no black or white mixed in with it. And it feels very soft. Uh, I know that I've raved in the past before about how soft some of the ice yarns are. Uh, let me just let me just read the specs here. So Fantasia, um, I think the Crystal's last ice yarn and bagging, she, she ordered several colors of it. This this green is just gorgeous. I could see I could see Kayla at Alt Notch just going nuts over this because it's got like the acid green and then the forest green. It's like all the different shades of green. And then there's this inside here. This is oh my gosh, she would freak if she saw this. I think. Uh, yeah, let's read the specs on the Fantasia. This is 25% uh, wool, 75% premium acrylic blend, which would explain how soft it is. Um, usually, most yarn, most wool blends, uh, they feel a little. To me, they feel scratchy. I know some people love wool, and that's awesome. Um, I like it. I like working with it. I just don't wear it very often. So each skein comes. Uh, it's 100 grams or 190 meters. Uh, and it is a worsted weight of four. You can see it's a worsted weight of four. It's actually, yeah, it'd be perfect for that. Recommended yarn or recommended needle sizes. I'm talking about yarn is a five to a six millimeter or US eight to a 10. Um, yeah, this is really nice. It doesn't have crochet hook recommendations, but I would say possibly an eye. I could be wrong. I think I is 5 or 5.5 millimeters. Um, yeah, this is cool. And, and I've said before in um, previous Ice Yarn haul videos, when you order yarn from Ice Yarns, you don't you don't get um, just one skein or one ball or one hank or whatever. You have to order it in a pack. So this comes in a pack of four. And let me just, again, sorry, I've got the website pulled up. I just gotta find the Fantasia. Okay, so the Fantasia yarn, I don't have the Canadian conversion prices to this. I'm sorry. I've just got the US prices. Fantasia goes for $7.99 US for four skeins. Now, it's obvious, as I showed you before, the size difference between this and the Scarfy is significantly different. But um, you can pay, like here in Canada, I believe Scarfy goes for, I think it's either $9.99 or $11.49. I'm not sure which because yarn's gone up in price too. So you get four skeins for, you know, $7.99 American, which would be, I want to say either $9 or $10 Canadian. My conversion skills suck, obviously. So, yeah. Nice, nice. They know me well. It's all purples and greens. Uh, let me see what we have here. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this is pretty and heavy. It's dense. Uh, oh, this is the gelato yarn. I'll show you the number here. 75813. You can punch the numbers in when you go to Ice Yarn and just punch the numbers in directly. I believe this is the specific uh, colorway as well. Uh, this is gelato. I saw, I think it was Krista at the Secret Yarnery ordered a bunch of gelato yarn and I fell in love with it. Now here's the thing, I've been watching Ice Yarn Haul videos with my husband. So when he told me that I had an order coming in, I thought he had ordered it because between that and the Bag o Day video where Mr. Bod ordered a bunch of yarn for Crystal, I thought that that's what my husband did. I was, and I even asked him. I, I thrilled him actually. I said, "I'm gonna give you one chance to come clean with me. Did you order this?" And he said, "No." And I'm eyeballing him. Like, are you sure? Did you? Are you telling me the truth? And he kind of laughed. And I'm like, "See, you're guilty." And he's like, "No, no, no. I didn't order it." Um. So I don't. Again, I don't know who sent this. It's somebody who knows me well. That's for sure. Oh, this is pretty. 
it's thin. It's a lot thinner than what I normally would use. So I could see like maybe some really nice lace weight shawls or, or something. I think it is a lace weight. Yeah. Um, but look at this. The colorway is just so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I love the, uh, yeah, there's, there's purples, pinks, I believe a cream and then brown, which is just, it's, it's a nice color. It's, it's very spring like. So, but it is thin. Um, I'll definitely have to play with that. Sorry. I just want to make sure I got this here. Um, gelato. Oh, okay. Here we go. So the gelato, uh, you get four skeins in a pack for $7.99 American. Uh, let me read the specs on this. Oh, it's so super soft too. It's absolutely gorgeous. 100% uh, microfiber acrylic and it's each uh, skein is 100 grams or 320 meters. That's actually not bad. It's going to 320 meters per skein. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make some nice sizable projects. The recommended needle size is a three, which is US three. I don't know what size crochet hook that is. I apologize. It is a lace weight of two and it definitely looks like a lace weight. It is gorgeous. Uh, and I just realized I'm not reading the, uh, in washing instructions, obviously with the Fantasia that was here before, um, you're not going to put this in the wash because, well, I guess you could, it says, uh, wash cool, like 30 degrees. Do not iron. Um, I wouldn't even put this in the wash at all because it does have a wool content. Um, but this also has the same. It's the 100% microfiber acrylic. Uh, and again, it's like wash cool, do not iron. I'm assuming lay flat to dry. I would wash it cool and put it in with your delicates because it is a microfiber. But yeah, it's and it is it is soft. It's nice. It's dense. I can see myself having a bit of fun once I get used to using three. Well, I've used 3.5 needles before, so this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, whoever, I'm, I'm going to be saying this a lot, but whoever ordered this, you know your stuff. <laughs> You've been watching my videos. <laughs> uh, we got another pack of gelato. This is an absolute riot of color. Look at this. This is just, this is very spring-like. This is pretty bright for me. <laughs> Because yeah, I, I like to stick to obviously my darker shades here and or more earthy ish. Uh, this is 75820. You can check out the number there if you want to enter that. Uh, it says pink shades, but whew, that's a heck of a pastel rainbow. It's it is gorgeous. Like the colorway is nice. I it's not something I would normally gravitate to, but I think this would make a nice spring colored garment of some sort, like either a shawl or like a really nice hat, uh, shawlette something. Uh, maybe even some sleeveless or uh, thumb, what do you call it? Fingerless gloves. Oh my God. I can't think I, <laughs> today's day in the chemotherapy clinic was long because of the switch over to the new meds. So I got there, I think about nine 30 and I didn't leave until five o'clock today. It was long, but I also had like the Benadryl shot and I went for a really nice nap. I'm not going to complain about that. It was nice. All right. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love this so much. I think uh, either Crystal at Bag of Day or Krista at Secret Yarn already got this as well, which is why I wonder if this isn't like somebody I know that ordered these because I or picked out these yarns or somebody who's been watching and knows me very well. <laughs> Maybe it's one of my friends. I don't know. Uh, this is the Cakes Glitz. The number is 61262. You can take a look there. I am in love with these colors already. Oh my god. Let's open it up if I can. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of the is it Red Heart Roll with it? I think. I don't have any on hand right now, but that's okay. Um yeah, that's fine. Um yeah, it's like the Red Heart Roll with it very similar to it anyway um yeah look at it is soft like for a yarn that has a metallic thread in it it already feels very soft i'm sure it may or may not change when i start working with it but look at the purple and green oh my god how can i not well it's more of like you know purple lilac and then just yeah, oh this is so pretty this is so pretty i love it 
It is 95% of uh, each cake is 95% acrylic or and 5% metallic lurex. Each cake weigh, uh, is 150 grams, measures 540 meters. So I could see this making like a nice light shawlette, uh, either knit or crocheted. Um, maybe use two color match to make something really fun. Uh, the recommended kneading needles are four millimeters or US six. I believe that is a G hook. I could be wrong. Please correct me in the comments down below. It is a DK weight of three, which you can tell obviously same with the, um, red heart roll with it. Just, I, th I think it's roll with it anyway. I'm probably wrong. Um, oh my God, I love this so much. It's so great. I'm going to start working with this right away. Probably. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Purple and green. You know me well. Get back in there. Please don't tear the bag. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. I, I would like to know who this was so I can thank them by making them something. Because it's the least I can do. Like my gosh. Uh, and more purple. <laughs> Although it's, yeah, more purple and green. This is gorgeous. What is this? This is Magic Worsted. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love Magic Light. You've heard me expound on the virtues of Magic Light. This is Magic Worsted. The number is 77639 for this particular colorway, if you can see that. I didn't know Magic made a Worsted. I thought there was Magic Light and Magic Blitz. Who knew? Oh my god. This is beautiful. All right. Oh, 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 very soft, very nice, very pliable. Uh, and it is definitely a nice solid worsted yarn. Oh my gosh. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Check this out. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Uh, so the magic worsted is 100 premium, 100% premium acrylic. I'm stumbling a lot and stuttering. I apologize. Been a long day. <laughs> Each skein weighs 100, gra or, yeah, 100 grams, measures 185 meters. The recommended knitting needle size is a 5 to a 6 millimeter, so I to a J, I'm assuming. And it is a worsted weight of 4. It feels like a nice, good, chunky worsted. I am in love with this yarn already. The magic line itself, the magic light is beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. And I imagine it will not be any different for the magic worsted. I don't know what I'm going to make out of this. I mean, I've already got a... <laughs> I'm trying to burn through my stash as it is. And y'all keep sending me more yarn. I am not complaining. <laughs> but I'm getting I'm getting an idea that I should be doing a lot more projects more quickly. Um, the only problem is when the chemo sickness kicks in. I've got like two to three days where I'm just absolutely useless. I have no energy and I just feel like hot garbage. All I can do is stare at my yarn stash and kind of cry. <laughs> like, uh, you know, wait until I feel better. But this I'll be diving into for sure. Just gorgeous. Maybe I'll make a poncho out of that. You know, let's see if I can make a poncho out of that. Should work. Uh, okay, I'll put you there. Please don't fall. Oh my god. You folks are giving me. You're too much. More purple. Purple and blue and teal-ish. That is beautiful. Yeah, whoever picked this, you have a great taste. So this is Magic Glitz. <laughs> the number is 66561, if you can see that there. So Magic Glitz. I've kind of been eyeballing Magic Glitz, actually. And every time I go to the website, it's only the um, the neutral colored ones that are available. And everything else has email me when available, da 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 so I kind of give up on ordering Magic Blitz because I didn't think I'd ever get any. Lo and behold, ta-da! <laughs> absolutely beautiful. And I know I keep saying that a lot with these yarns, but Ice Yarns does make a lot of absolutely beautiful yarns. Very soft, very smooshy, very pliable. I love it. Um, just, oh my gosh, and this is so pretty too. It's not quite the same as the Cakes Glitz. Like this was more of the green. If I can get this out without trying. <laughs> So I've got everything falling on me. Sorry. So yeah, this has more of like the green green and the, the purple, whereas this is... And I dropped it anyway. 
And my phone. Where'd my phone go? Because I... Oh, shoot. I didn't tell you what the prices of the other ones are. Sorry. Where did you go? Hello, Mr. Phone. And I'm knocking everything over right now. <laughs> of course I am. Uh, the magic of technology. Here, you stay there. <sighs> oh, my gosh. I don't even know where it is. Um, talk amongst yourselves. Does anybody remember Coffee Talk with Linda Richmond on Saturday Night Live? No? <laughs> Am I the only Gen Xer in the crowd? <laughs> okay, stay. All right, now that we got that maelstrom settled. Um, oh, yes, I should probably let you know what the... Because I told you how much the uh, gelato was. Cakes Glitz. Let me just type that in here very quick. Sorry. The Cakes Glitz. $6.99 US uh, for two cakes, which is, again, it's really good. I mean, the, the Red Heart um, Roll With It and whatnot. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's the Roll With It. I can't even remember the name of it. You'll correct me in the comments, I hope. Um, but that would be how much you'd be paying for one in your normal like store like Walmart, Michaels, etc. But you get two for roughly the same price, $6.99 US. I want to say that's like eight something Canadian, but I could be wrong. The Magic Glitz. Or, sorry, is it magic? Yes, magic glitz. You can get a pack of four skeins of 100 grams for. Uh, I just had. Okay, I'm in the glitzy yarn section right now. So, the magic glitz goes for $8.99 US. I want to say it's like 11 something Canadian. The magic glitz is 95% acrylic, 5% lurex, 100%. Or, sorry, 100 grams. 360 meters. It is a lightweight of three. You can see it's a lightweight of three. It's very similar to the, the cakes glitz actually, although I think that is a, yeah, that's a three as well. It feels slightly thicker than the, uh, the cakes and needle size recommendation is four to four and a half millimeters, which works out to a US six to a seven. The washing instructions are the same as the other ones. Um, wash in a cool temperature, do not iron, lay flat to dry, da, da da Yeah, I would definitely put this in the delicate cycle, but yeah, I, wow, this is so pretty. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm a sucker for cream and purple. <laughs> yeah, when I first started knitting, I was like, you know, black yarn, everything, and then I realized how hard it was to see when you drop the stitch. So, so pretty. All right, get up there. <laughs> Please don't skip. <laughs> oh my goodness, we still have more to go. Whew. Yeah, whoever you are, I want, like, even if you just private message me and tell me it was you, I'll make you something and send it to you as a way of saying thank you because that's the least I can do. And plus, you know, I got a bit of time on my hands right now, so why not? This is ambiance in pink and purple shades the number is 77411 I'm not familiar with ambiance well the yarn <laughs> let's take a look see. Uh, the purple and grays are just so oh yes this is up my alley for sure I really like these colors this is yeah and it's so soft let me do the smoosh test Ooh, nice 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 yeah, this is definitely, it feels spongy if that makes any, any difference. So it would be great for something that you can make and wear like against your skin. So pretty. The ambiance yarn is 100% premium acrylic and it definitely feels like it. Each skein measures 100 grams or 200 meters. The US or the uh, recommended knitting needle size is a 5 to a 6. It is the worst of weight of 4. I would stick with a five for knitting, maybe six for crochet. I want to make a poncho out of this. Or shawl. This is, wow, this is so pretty. Like, just check out the color gradients, like the black, gray, purple, a little bit of pink, a little bit. Yeah, th this is up my alley. You're not saying the rest of this is not, but this just, wow, this really grabs my attention. I could also see my husband asking me to make him something out of this too. So, maybe. 
Okay. <laughs> and last but not least, did I get anything else in here? No, I remember my first ice cream uh, haul. I got a, a tote bag. And it was really cool. I guess they only do that for first-time customers. Okay, this is very similar to the ambiance. This is Favorite Magic. I think I've ordered Favorite Yarn before. Let me just pull this out. Is this Favorite Magic? Yep, it's Favorite Magic as well. Um, this was from my, I think, second or third ice yarn uh, haul. And I got the Favorite Magic with this too. I'm probably going to be turning this into like a crochet throw blanket or something. It's really pretty. Um, so this Favorite Magic, this uh, it's number 46963 for this colorway. Again, with the purples and dark and charcoal. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <sighs> I need wireless headphones bad. I did have a pair of earbuds, but they died on me recently. Well, the one did anyway. Very sad. <laughs> All right, favorite magic. Oh, yes, very soft. I've already, I've done the review on that one before, but yeah, this, this is very similar to the ambiance. Uh, very similar to like the purples, the pinks, the blacks, uh, the grays. Very pretty. Favorite magic. 100% acrylic, not premium acrylic, just acrylic. It's fine. It still feels very soft for an acrylic. Um, there are some acrylics out there that are so plastic they squeak. This is not one of them. Uh, so we have, oh, sorry, my apologies. I'm just ruining everything tonight. <laughs> Uh, so each skein weighs 100 grams or 210 meters. Recommended needle size 5 or US 8. Worsted weight of 4. It is definitely a worsted weight. I can't wait to dive into this either. This is so, so pretty. To me it's pretty anyway. I like the darker shades. Um, just the, the color gradation is very, very flattering. I really like it. This is, yeah, whoever sent this to me, you y'all did your homework. Gorgeous. All right, I'm going to put this up here and hope you do not fall over. <laughs> I might have to get started on something tonight because that's just, I I honestly have no words. Oh, uh, again, I haven't been reading the prices. I'm sorry. Um, did I read the price for the Magic Glitz? I think I did. Yes, I did. I read Magic Glitz. The ambiance, um, let me back out there again. I, again, I apologize. I don't mean to keep waiting. Um... I hate being like on the phone with people and ah, unless it's like a text message from my husband or some sort of emergency of some type. Uh, okay, here we go. The ambiance uh, is uh, the four pack of 100 gra uh, 100 gram skeins is 7.99 US, uh, which works out to I want to say like a nine nine or ten dollars Canadian. Again, I apologize. I don't have my conversion skills. Um, I'm just guesstimating at this point. And the favorite, ah, wrong button, favorite magic. Uh, you think I'd remember this from the last time. There we go. $6.99 US for a four pack of 100 gram skeins. Um, again, these are, now the, the price of the ice yarns is very cheap because you're getting the full pack for the same price that you would pay at Michael's, Walmart. Uh, yarn shops, that sort of thing. I'm going to turn this off so I don't have to look at it anymore. Um, the only downside is the shipping costs, but again, it's totally reasonable. I can't be mad at it because it's coming from Turkey. Um, it, whenever I order, it gets to my place within a week. Um, folks in the States have been able to get it a lot sooner, like after, say, three to four days. Uh, we do have to pay duty here in Canada, so on top of the price of however much this costs, I don't even know. Um, but whoever did this was so incredibly kind and generous and has, you've given me some, some work to do. <laughs> this is wonderful. Um, again, I'm, I, my gratitude knows no bounds. Um, I, I'm so grateful and deeply appreciative of any and all gestures of kindness and goodwill. It's immensely flattering. I'm usually the one that makes shawls or ponchos or garments and brings them into people who have been going through a bit of a rough time or lost someone they love. Like just recently, uh, a dear friend of mine that I've known for decades, she lost her husband. Uh, and 
I just felt so bad for her. So I made her a shawl and brought it to her place of work. Unfortunately, she wasn't there that day. But she did message me and thank me profusely. In fact, she wants to help donate or do something, not donate to the GoFundMe, but um, because she owns and runs a local pub, she wants to help me do some sort of fundraiser or whatever. So we're brainstorming on that right now. Um, I keep saying um. <laughs> Just every, every good thing that's come into my life in the past few months as a result of what I'm going through, I just, I'm so grateful. I, I truly am. I, I can't put it into words enough. I know I've said it before, but the words thank you just seem so pitifully inadequate. And I even have a thing with my GoFundMe where if somebody donates, I will offer to make them something in exchange. Just my way of saying thank you to give, to give back. And the majority of responses have been, just get better. Just get, get, get better, kick cancer to the curb, and we'll go from there. <laughs> Which just I, uh, I my normal command of the English language has just flown out the window, especially in light of acts of kindness like this. Just uh, thank you, thank you so much. If you're not again, as I said before, if you're not comfortable coming forward to confess that it was you, I understand. I I completely understand. I I respect your wish to remain anonymous. Um, I'll put up progress videos and pictures of things that I work on from here. <laughs> But I think that wraps this up. I think this brings it to a close, and it's a very satisfactory close. I am quite surprised, nicely surprised. I, whoever did this, you you know me well. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of fun with, with these colors and these yarns. I can't wait to dig into them. I probably will as soon as I turn this off. But thank you so, so much to whoever demonstrated this act of kindness to me. I appreciate you very much. And thank you folks for joining me on another haul video. I appreciate you all very, very much for tuning in, for liking, subscribing. Um, for all my new subscribers, hey, welcome. Thank you so much. You just pushed me over 700 subs, and I'm so grateful. Thank you for joining me on this wild journey. I am trying to post more often, but unfortunately because of the nature of the beast that is cancer and chemotherapy sickness. Sometimes it gets hard and I appreciate your patience and understanding. I will try to, I, I try to do like little shorts or messages or something as much as I can, but this weekend's going to be a write-off because like I said, I just had my fifth round of chemo. Five down, three more to go. Yeah. <laughs> but then there's the immunotherapy, which won't be that hard. So I'm getting better and with your thoughts and words of comfort and support it's making it a little bit easier it's a lot of hard work but i appreciate you folks uh sending your your love and well wishes my way to make this a little more bearable thank you thank you so much i'm gonna stop now before i start crying <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up i appreciate any and all positive feedback if you haven't already done so please click the subscribe button down here and i'll keep you posted as to or and ring the notification bell as well it'll keep you posted as to new videos that i put up and if you have any comments down below any suggestions on what i can do with some of this stockpile <laughs> i'd be grateful let me know if you've ordered anything from ice yarns recently what are you working on right now what, are, what yarns are you playing with uh maybe we can swap out some ideas so thanks again stay safe keep making cool stuff and we will talk again soon thank you so much bye